This video will demonstrate how to install SUSE Rancher Kubernetes Engine version 2, commonly referred to as RKA2, on SUSE Linux Enterprise Server, running as virtual machines on an IBM ZVM hypervisor. The VMs have access to the internet. The container workload for this Kubernetes cluster will be the SUSE Rancher Multi-Cluster Manager, also known as Rancher Manager. Another video will show how to deploy and run Rancher Manager on this RKE2 cluster. We have switched to a web browser showing the RKE2 quick start documentation, which this video closely follows. There are three tabs at the bottom of the terminal window, Rancher-Server, Rancher-Agent-1, and Rancher-Agent-2. The vmcp command is run on the rancher server to show the resources assigned to this virtual machine. There are two virtual CPUs, 8 gigs of RAM, and a 40 gig DASD mini disk, and one OSA network interface. The rancher agent VMs have the same resources defined. A disk larger than 40 gigabytes is encouraged. RK2 will be deployed on SLES 15 SP3 in this video. The VMs have been registered over the internet with the SUSE Customer Center and fully patched. RK2 is installed from GitHub. On the rancher's server, type the curl command as shown. The command shown will install the latest stable RK2 version. Press Enter to download and unpack the RK2 tarball. Use the systemctl command shown to start the RK2 server, which will deploy the Kubernetes control plane components as containers. The deployment will take several minutes to complete. Verify the deployment was successful once the command prompt is returned. Use systemctl status to confirm that the RK2 server service is active. Use the export command to set the kubeconfig environmental variable and update the path. cryctlconfig will set the path to the containerd socket. With the export and cryctl commands complete, verify the containers that comprise the control plane are running and use kubectl to get the status of the nodes currently in this Kubernetes cluster. Only one node is shown, which is the control plane. Switch to Rancher Agent 1, executing the curl command. The install underscore RKE2 underscore type equals agent environmental variable is added because this system will be a Kubernetes worker node. Do the same on Rancher Agent 2. Return to Rancher Agent 1. Make the Etsy Rancher RKE2 directory and create the config.yaml file. Two lines must be added in the config.yaml file. The first is the server line. Paste the IP address from Rancher server adding colon 9345 as the port number of the listening RKE2 server. The second line is the token. Paste the token from the var lib rancher RKE2 server node token file, which is on the rancher server VM. Copy the two lines, switch to rancher agent 2, making the directory, creating config.yaml, and pasting the two lines from rancher agent 1. Back on rancher agent 1, use the systemctl command shown to start an RKE2 agent. This will deploy the containers that are used by a Kubernetes worker node. Repeat the systemctl command on Rancher Agent 2. Return to the Rancher server VM and get the status of the nodes in this Kubernetes cluster. Both Rancher Agent nodes will be shown. It may take several minutes for the Rancher Agent nodes to be shown as ready. With all of the nodes showing ready, RKE2 has been deployed successfully. The next video will demonstrate the deployment of the Rancher Multi-Cluster Manager on this Kubernetes cluster.